This video explains how to select material for your part. To select a material, we go to the Job menu and select the Material command. The Material dialog is then displayed. Our main area of interest today is the Material Grid. You'll see you can scroll up and down through the grid to see various materials. There are several fields of information horizontally for each material. These fields help you decide about which material to use. The cost column is not a direct cost, but a relative cost within the category. For example, if you're trying to decide between several different types of aluminum, you can use the cost value to know which one is probably least expensive. But if you are comparing the cost of aluminum and steel, it may not be indicative of the final cost of the job. That's because there are many factors that can affect the cost. For example, the material may be more expensive, but it might be faster to machine, which in turn will reduce your final cost. The Availability column gives a general idea how long it takes to acquire material, which may influence delivery time of your order. The Usage field indicates some common uses of the material. Most of the additional fields are more technical in nature, including density, melting point, temperature, range, hardness, and so forth. If the melting point or density is of no concern to you, you can go ahead and ignore these fields. You can ignore most of the fields in most applications. In the aluminums, The lower numbers are generally used for sheet metal designs, which will be bent, and a higher number means a harder material, and those are generally used for machining, such as milling and turning. A list of common objects that you are likely familiar with, and the materials they're made up of, is available on our website by clicking the Materials link. For example, a personal computer chassis is made out of steel. Typically, a food storage container is made out of polyethylene. A classic doorknob may be turned out of brass. A soda can is made out of aluminum. Plastic pipe is made out of PVC. Decorative plastic objects are often acrylic. Heavy machine bases are often made out of iron. Plastic gears are quite often cut from Delrin or nylon. Plastic safety windows are often polycarbonate. Low-cost toys, polystyrene. 
food utensils and counters are frequently made from stainless steel. Metal gears can be made of steel or brass. These examples can help you decide on the right materials for your parts.